What is up guys, it's Troy at The Full Setup here, back with another video for you. Now, EO and Microsoft have been working very closely together um, over the last couple of months. As we know that we've got EA Play now on Game Pass, which is great because that saved me some more money because I've got it all tied into one subscription service now. I cancelled my EA Play Pro because I thought, why am I paying £15 a month when there hasn't been a Battlefield game for a couple of years, there hasn't been any decent Star Wars games for a couple of years, and I don't play FIFA. I'm someone that's just happy to buy the odd game from EA every now and then. So cheers for that one, Microsoft. I really appreciate it. But the most important thing, or probably the best thing that's happened over the last couple of weeks, is that EA have now patched a load of titles for the Xbox Series X and S to run in the 120 FPS mode. So that's um, the Battlefield franchise, including, I think, 4, 1, and 5. Weird numbering order that your games have come out there. Star Wars Battlefront. Titanfall and I also think some of the Plants vs Zombies games. Now it's not super obvious on how you turn on this 120 FPS mode so I'm just going to take you through the steps that you have to do. It's not just like a performance mode that you toggle in game. I feel like I've got like a hair in my eye or something. So obviously the first thing is you need to make sure that your display supports 120 hertz mode. That's probably the most important thing. You can't play 120 FPS mode on 60 hertz display. It's not like PCs where you can just turn Oh, not my camera. It's not like on PCs where you can just turn VSync off, okay? You have to have a 120 hertz display for it to work with the Series X and S. Obviously, the S hasn't got as much support for 120 FPS games as well. Um, so I think Microsoft needs to stop pushing the branding on that so much. But yeah, anyway, go into general, go into TV and display options. As you can see, I'm at 1440p, 120 hertz on a Lenovo nano ips display if you don't get 120 hertz mode go to go over to video fidelity and overscan select overrides and select hdmi now that might give you 120 hertz if it's not showing here if you only get 60 but the thing that will happen is you will lose variable refresh rate that's a topic for a whole nother video another day but these are just some pre-steps but how do you actually get it working in the game then well it's pretty simple to be fair so let's just go over to battlefield 5 so I think I did Battlefield 1 in the last video because I had to do a reshoot. Um, so you just go to Battlefield 1, Manage Games and Add-ons. You'll have to do this for every EA-based title. Just go to Compatibility Options and Enable FPS Boost. So there you go then. That is the FPS Boost. And I'm not showing you any gameplay today because I just remember that I haven't played shooters on a controller for a very long time. Like almost a decade. So um, I was playing some Battlefield this morning and I was definitely getting my ass handed to me a lot more than I would do on the PC. So I really hope, please EA, please DICE, add mouse and keyboard support to Battlefield 6 on the Xbox Series X. But um, yeah, I've really been enjoying it. I'm not actually really been able to play many games on it yet because it's a, it's a birthday present. I'm not supposed to have it yet, but I'm allowed to use it for YouTube videos. That's how, that's how we're getting around it. But um, yeah, I hope this helps you out. Um, let me know how you get on in the description below. And also, if you are using this with PC monitors, just a sort of a continuation from the videos I did towards the end of last year, could you please just post um, the when you, you know, your monitors, if it works, could you just post the model number? Because it would really help other people out as well. And if you'd like me to do a follow up video on why there are so many issues on 1440p, please do let me know. Anyway, I'm doing the end of video waffle because I can never close it off. So, uh, yeah, there you go. That's how you get 120 hertz mode on all the EA games on the Xbox Series X and S.